Oh, I'm too slow. I'm too slow. God damn. G'day there, gang. My name is Wales. Most people call me Wally, and today we play some more Terra in Victor. Right, at the moment here, we've um, just unlocked the... Well, we did miss one in between episodes, but the another plot advancing tech here. We've completed the alien movement project so by studying the residue found in the vicinity of the reported adding side sightings we've established that rather than sweating as humans do these aliens dissipate heat in a similar manner to dry ice okay a fortune for us tracking this is relatively straightforward to the peak of the global war on terror most nations are already using forward-looking infrared all right to detect aerosol threats oh, okay cool so that just needs uh, a bit of modification. All right, allows. All right, so we allows direct detection of alien operatives. Right, that's good. I think that lets us move on a bit. Right, we've completed the research alien movements objective. We've combined an old-fashioned satellite coverage with some newly developed technology to detect aliens and their well via their biological signatures. Okay, it's crude. We're relying on people that we don't trust very much, but it'll give us the capability to track. All right. That's good. That's good. All right. New objective. Acquire an alien corpus. Ooh. All right. So we need an actual specimen now to forward our research. The owners and the human allies have no doubt become aware of our efforts. And it seems we are inviting retaliatory strikes when we go forward. Oh, rightio. So we're going to go mess with the aliens properly for the first time coming up. I think it's good timing because there's a couple of other things coming online soon that we'll talk about when they happen. Our expansion to Asia here is going quite well. Uh, we, we now have control of Thailand and Myanmar, so uh, which both came with a little bit of extra boost income. As you see, we got boost out the wazoo now. I've actually stopped funding boost um, across the place. Actually, I should turn it down here now as well and um, start to worry about these people's economy a bit more than the boost income. We're building an army here as well. I just want some sort of army presence over here that I don't have to worry about. Um, it's an atomic age army, so um, it could be better, it could be better, but it is what it is for out here at the moment. And everything else here is moving the right way for me. Actually, I do need to get a um, agent out here. So um, uh, what's the one that we want? This is the one. Um, Stabilized Nation. We'll um, send uh, Blix there right now. We'll have a talk about the councillors in a minute as well, and we'll show you what we've picked up for those guys there. Our EU has expanded. I don't think too much more than was expected. So we have absorbed Ireland and Norway. I'm not sure if we'd done that at the end of the last episode or not, but we've got it now. So we do have a, a fair blob on the map here now, which I, I'm quite happy with. And we have just taken Hungary off of the servants because I've had enough of this shit. We're starting to go, hopefully, um, put some pressure here and maybe, maybe eke into Russia a little bit if we I think we might have to do the Great Nations research or the next one up so we can do like, like Turbo Europe and bring in everybody. But hopefully we'll be able to bring in um, Hungary soon into the EU and bring us under this EU now, which is now boasting six control points. And um, we're doing pretty well. We got a reasonable economy. Uh, we're absolutely pumping the science pretty hard here. We've got control of one of the scientific research categories. Uh, wish I'll get the right one here. Um, we're going to go for missile warfare doctrine, and we're just going to fill the skies with a sacrificial tin, tin cans and B perhaps a, a tanky boy or two that seems to be the way to go i think i have caved a little bit and watched a couple of guides on ship building so really don't want to waste my money on it but i am enjoying just playing through the game it's it's it, it is good fun and you know in this day and age it's quite easy to spoil a game i think by going in and even getting if you're not getting spoilers getting guides and stuff sometimes but um i think the complexity of this game warrants me having a little bit of a cheat um, we are trying to bring Italy under our sway at the moment, but we have to do it via the old coup d'etat way because these guys are just perma dug in here. Or oh, hang on a sec. We do have a chance here. We might try and crack down on you there, matey. Uh, I'm quite happy to spend that amount of influence for that. Even if we can get one point in there, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Suckers as ever is our assault alien asset man. And like now that we do actually need to track down an alien and try and grab one, even if it is a corpse, uh, I really need to send him out in these missions now. So, 87%, yeah, we've got 59 ops all of a sudden. We have picked up a um, fair bit of ops income. Uh, we've got Interpol 
as a org that we've picked up. So that's quite good. We'll have, like I said, we'll have a look at the um, councillors in a minute. Um, but there's some other news about the drop soon, I think. And we might go through that first. Here again, here's that mechanic. Even if you catch them with the point open, they can get the defend off before you can get your purge off. So even with all those points spent, we only had a 19% chance. What was it? 60-odd influence we spent on that? That was to give us a 19% chance. And Canva here um, rolled a fitty. Not a good time for a fitty Canva. And here it is, guys. We are set up on Mars. It's just dropped at the uh, the HAB module at the um, Moons of Mines complex. Now, I've gone with Muta, Kadena, Wallaroo for my three assets here so far. It's the Copper Triangle in South Australia. Spent a lot of time there growing up. Little mining area. So... There it is. There's my there's my little shout out to that. So we have set up here the Moon to Mine. Uh, there's also a twin station, the Kadena Mine, also dropped now. So we've got the mining complex here, which should bring us in a lot of water. Um, unstables. Um, what are they? Volatiles, not unstables. Uh, base metals. And the other base brings in um, the nobles as well from memory. So... That is good. I think we're off and running with income. Yep, as you can see, we've got income in every area here. Now, that means we can build stuff in space for so much cheaper. Like like I said, all this boost is almost a bit too much now. Uh, you spend all early game trying to get boost, and then, and then this happens. But I'm sure we'll still find ways to spend it. We do have control of a big portion of the planet's boost. We, we, we've still got Kazakhstan. We've still got all, all the European Union's now combined boost, which is ridiculous. Um, we'll just have a quick look at Kadena. So yeah, as you can see here, um, we're bringing in uh, 2.8 uh, nobles a month here, uh, as well as the water. This was a, just gives us bounce. We now have income in every one of these categories up here. I said it's going to make things so much easier moving forward. And we'll just have a quick look at the moon while we're here. Let's let's go to Luna Farmstrong here. Just doing what it says on the tin, really. Uh, it's just bringing us... It just goes a foothold in space and enough incomes. Even the tiny amount of income that this brings in reduces the cost of sending stuff out into space by so much. I didn't realize how much it was. So even just that little foothold, it was worth the wait and spending all that boost on getting that up here, I think, because it has tore my boost... boost launch costs in half because i was producing at least half the materials out in space now I'm producing them all wow we got to crack down off in italy we might actually be able to get a control point there that'll be interesting let's see how that goes so not much has happened we've we're increasing our our space presence a little bit and what we are doing to speed things up i've kind of left military research behind a bit and it's kind of occurred to me that it's something I should be chasing. So, um, low earth, low earth, low earth orbit, um, um, two here is by, it's just going to be a military science station and we can build those in space really cheaply. And yeah, I can, I can really turn down the boost on the planet. I mean, look how much boost we're getting. Almost to the point where I almost wouldn't mind if someone took Kazakhstan off us now. Let's see how we go. We really, we're not under any control cat pressure to loot Pesha. We're not under any control cap pressure to lose anywhere yet. So, so yeah, there shouldn't be too many, um, too much to consume that much boost. I am, however, going to start spamming around here and putting some more stations in uh, just to get uh, research up and that sort of stuff. Um, I might even just start because I can build them now, just send fission piles out to each one and then I can put three station, three research facilities on each station and just really boost a few things. I'd really like to get, I, I do have one station running energy research already, as you know, so another one running uh, Miltech Mil and another one running, um, I don't know, I'll have a look and see what I think is best, but at least another one station, and then we need another shipyard as well. Right, we've got a hold of a control point in Italy. Look, I think we might have already had this when I just last talked to you, but I found a bug in the game where if you try and decommission a hab, uh, the whole game crashes. So I'll have to report that to the dev. Yeah, so I had to do the whole thing over again twice when I ran into the same problem twice in a row. So yeah, we've got a control point in Italy. I'm not sure that's a good thing because it's taken us over our control cap. Uh, that's not ideal, but it, it, it might help us get into Italy. And if it helps us get into Italy, that'd be good. Um, I set up a whole heap of modules. 
So basically, they're going to be uh, Miltech and Xenotech and Energy Tech, which is, I think, what we'll be researching predominantly in the next few turns or so. All right, we can undertake Europe Ascendant now, which gives us extra claims uh, to make the European Union even bigger. Uh, we don't need to do that yet, so we're not going to touch that for now. We're continuing with public campaigns over here to try and get the Chinese public campaign down low enough. But in reality, what I think I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to kick these guys out of here. Now, I am interested to see what... I'm trying to read the unification requirements here. A few moments later. Thailand has a claim on the Myanmar capital region, Yangon. Fail. Right. So that can't be done. That's a bugger. I'm going to ally everyone up here while we're here. May as well. I'm considering how much I actually need Thailand. Can I let it go now? And we concentrate our efforts on like getting like border countries here, like Vietnam. Let's start to put a bit more pressure on China. I mean, North Korea would be bad either. Oh no, protectorate are in. Oh, I'm too slow. I'm too slow. God damn. God damn. Right, that that changes things significantly. Who's here? Oh my god, they're there. Oh. We've been we've been beaten by the alien lick spittles at the moment while people fight amongst themselves here. Right, I think I have to build more armies. They have to build more armies. I have prioritized that, for that haven't I, here? No, I'm building a navy here. Yeah, I'll need that to get my, my boys out. But, look, everything else is looking good. GDP's going up. Democracy's going up. Science is going up. Like, really, really happy with everything there. Not a lot to complain about, really. But I am worried that most of the world nukes are in the hands of the aliens. All but I've also set up a couple more, well, sent out a couple more mining areas out to series so i've got two mines going out at series there i do need to set up a station out there as well i have put one more on mars everyone else have piled in on mars so i just wanted to deny them more than anything else the, the income from mars there so it'll be interesting to see when inner planets fires i should be good but at the moment i'm gonna hunker down and i'm going to research some um drive tech and we should have patrol vessels up soon so we'll be able to start to get into space and then militarization of space uh being pushed by um bezos musk and co over here will give us more options in space and go towards getting marines out there right i need to get in on one of these i think i think i need to go all in there and try and get as many points in there i'm already behind but there is a lot of points for quantum computing there that gives me some time to catch up if i can put a good lead on there i'll have a control over the next pick which i really really want to start controlling more Having said that, this is definitely a priority, absolutely. And probably some sort of missile research as well. So I think if I get missiles, drive, and vessels out there, I can at least make a whole heap of matchstick missile boats and hopefully start to assert some sort of space superiority. Not particularly against the islands, but more against the other factions on Earth here. Rightio, here we are. We can build spaceships now. So we can build frigates, monitors, and destroyers. Uh, basic stuff comes in, but yeah, we've got we got some more stuff to research before we can really do anything with this. Uh, I'm not even sure what sort of thrust we can put on one yet. We got some drives we're researching, um, some batteries coming, and yeah, hopefully we can just build with a shit ton of them, stuff them full of missiles, and that's deterrent enough for now. As for what we're going to research now, I think I'm pretty keen to... Uh, am I want to go orbitals or what? Mm, so I want Europe Ascendant. No, 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 any of that yet. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish these batteries off, and then I'm going to head into Defend the Earth after that, I think. Oh, they're pretty close to finishing at the same time. We'll leave that as it is. This is crawling along up here. Um, wow. Wow. They are putting a shit ton into this. An absolute shit ton into it. We're, we're never going to catch them. They, they've got some massive research power now. I might be in a bit of trouble here. Those guys are huge. I mean, they are huge. they got the USA. they got China. They, they've been let go. They need to be taken down a peg or two. They're going to have to like start building armies in Europe, God forbid. Hey, not good, not good. Right, he's hungry absorbed into the bubble. Uh, that should... Yeah, that gives us plenty of control clearance. Now I really need to think about what I want to do. Three, four, five, six, seven control points now. Right. I need to defend mission. That's what I need to do. Right. I might leave it there for this episode. 
I am getting a bit tired. I've actually got up in the middle of the night to play because can't stop thinking about the game at the moment. It's really, really got me by the short and curlies, uh, but struggling to put coherent content together. Don't forget to leave the big thumbs up on the video for me, guys. My name's Waylands. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.